Hey y'all, it's Perky, and in today's video, we have another reaction to conspiracy theory TikToks that will make you question reality. Love these videos. We've been on a marathon with these videos. I love them, y'all love them. I'm learning some stuff, y'all learning some stuff. Like I said, some stuff could be a preach, and some stuff could be a reach. Shout out to one of my brothers. If y'all want one, y'all gotta rock the Adonai on your chest. And for those that know what Adonai mean, y'all some y'all some real ones. I say Adonai at the end of my video, Adonai Yahushua Mashiach. Link is in the description, yalltoad.com. Go check it out. This is not the only color they have it. Multiple, multiple colors. But again, rocking Yahushua Mashiach on your body. But without further ado, we are going to go ahead and get into today's reaction video. So you guys ever wonder why we can't go to Antarctica? This is why. Uh-oh. This on TV. Reptilians really came into control and started to um, be able to manipulate what was going on on the face of the planet about six, seven thousand years ago. Reptilians? It's true that they have different masking technologies to be able to be in a room and look like a human. Wow. Usually they're in underground bases in various places on the globe, as well as are y'all surprised? A huge area in Antarctica. Mm. The southeast region has large number of underground caverns that are kept extremely warm, too warm for humans, by geothermal heat. It's a perfect place for all of these. I don't know about y'all, but the history, history in. <laughs> I know you're like, that's not even a word. The math mathing, okay? The history, history in. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I had to throw that in there. But what I'm trying to say is, is that, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It, it, it sounds about accurate to me. So, yeah. Um, we, I know scientists can't explain it. I, I, yeah. What? <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know about that one. I, I don't know about that one. But these, well, it could be an edit. It could be an edit. Oh, what is in the sky? Look at this. I can tell you about that now. Those are Anunnaki spaceships. Yeah. I heard the word. I'm not tapping into that. What I will say is. Why all this stuff be happening in Florida? We have done so many reaction videos to these type of videos. And when I tell you, <laughs> Florida, what is y'all on? What's up? What, what y'all tapping into? Because I want to know. Bro, what is in the sky? Look at this. Florida, what y'all be on? That's scary. Yo, what the f is this in the sky? Like it's beautiful. Is there a big storm? I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's crazy. That's trippy. When white people came to Africa, they came showing themselves as superior to the black people, digging out things that black people taught them. You know, what we don't have in our history books is that the civilization we have in Europe today was brought to us by black people. Come on. Even black people don't know that. Come Even on. many, many black people don't know that. They don't know that the Moors, they were West Africans and North Africans and Central Africans that came to Europe and ruled Spain. They brought civilization to us. They showed us how to use soap, how to be clean, how to... to no. I'm saying no because this is somebody that's not even a brew telling telling the brews about themselves. Because I had a video where I basically was like, we we the brews. There was brews in my comments saying we're that's impossible. You just heard her say out of her mouth, y'all did it, and some of y'all don't even know that y'all started it. Come. Behave like a decent human being, you know? All these things we didn't know that before the most brought civilization to Spain. Did you shout out to this woman because she's not only 
again, putting the narrative of black history on the spot, or should I say brew history on the spot? But again, this is somebody that's not even a brew telling you about you. You could ignore this all you want to. If it fell on deaf ears, that's up to you. That's that's literally up to you. But if this is hitting people where it's like, wow, she's I didn't know that. She really speaking some stuff. Hold on. Let, let me go. Let me go do some research. Let me go do some history. Let me go read Deuteronomy 28. Wink, wink. You know that the Moors ruled in Spain for 700 years. Where is that in our history books? It's nowhere to be found. Because why? If you are giving black people that power of having ones ruled over white people, wouldn't black people start like... She was finna go. I'm so mad that they cut it. Mm. According to Russia, there's much more to Antarctica than the public is being told. They claim that top governments worldwide know exactly what's going on there, but they haven't disclosed it until now. Yeah. Possibly an entire continent below Antarctica's ice? Could this be Atlantis? Some theorists even believe that an ancient civilization that once fell actually lives and inhabits the continent below the ice. This is what essentially attracted the larger world governments to Antarctica to see if they couldn't find this alleged continent. But why would this important discovery be kept top secret from the public? Well, many believe it's because of a discovery that Russia supposedly made back in the early 2000s. In the early 2000s, a Russian scientific expedition made an amazing discovery. After drilling 2,000 meters into the ice shelf, they'd break into a cavern and discover freshwater lakes. And much to their surprise, these lakes were not frozen. It was essentially fresh water that had been isolated down there for what they believed to be 10 million years. So after making the discovery of the freshwater lakes, the scientists decided that they wanted to set up an expedition to drill down to the largest of the lakes, Lake Vostok. It's said that this borehole took over 10 years to dig, and now wow. it's fitted with an elevator that you can take all the way down. This elevator would take eight scientists down elevator. to the lakes to verify their existence. But little did these scientists know, they were about to embark on an expedition that could cost them their lives. Shortly after they began exploring the lake, they would have a run-in with an organism known as Organism 46B. Organism 46B was very similar to that of an octopus, except it was much more lethal. It said it had a venom that could paralyze its prey for up to 150 feet. Then Dang. it would rip them apart at its leisure. What I get from this video is that Antarctica is a place I'm not visiting. It, it's, it's too much videos about Antarctica and what they're doing and stuff that they hide in and hidden information and hidden creature. I don't even like the cold. So I, yeah, I, I, I don't see myself if I mean, if I was to ever if given the opportunity, I just I wouldn't. The U.S. government plans to use melanin for military application armor, weapons, and energy storage. In a world where the importance of melanin and its connection to black people are swept under the rug or denied, the United States government is preparing to use melanin for military applications and devices. Ain't no way. And for the ones that didn't know, they also sell melanin for $350. Some say it's more, but that's per gram. Personally, it don't take rocket science to know that nothing good would be coming out of this. They even made a movie about what they're doing to carbonated beings. I'm pretty sure we all seen the movie Get Out. Who has how this guy's actually a white man in a carbon man's body. They even show the process of how they transfer the consciousness. Mm. This is sunscreen under a UV light. Tell me, what are they trying to mimic? It's quite obvious that these people envy us for our skin color and biological differences. It's a lot more than skin color, but you know, that, that's a different story. I hear him loud and clear. If you guys have not seen Get Out, I don't. Y'all had to have been living on the rock because that movie, that movie is still mind blowing to me. I could watch that every time and not get disappointed because I feel like that's a movie that you will learn something new about it every time that you watch it. The pneumatic air tunnels of the old world. These tunnels have been discovered in many major cities, including Chicago, New York, and London. Chicago, New York, and London, okay. And some will say that these are just concepts built in a small scale, and then conveniently buried over and forgotten about. It, it ain't forgotten. Until years later, when amateurs started discovering these tunnels, buried and covered up among meters of dirt. And it was clear that this was not just some small concept. 
and I believe many of these tunnels still run to this day. Research the mud flood and fall of Tartaria. Question everything, friends. Yes. Did you know that Orlando Brown is exposing the In an interview, Orlando Brown said the are immortal. He said that everyone in the industry throughout time are all the same people. And when you sell your soul to the industry, they give you the option to live forever. And they found a way through esoteric science to take the soul from your body and put it in another. And he says, if you open your eyes and walk down Hollywood, you can see it. The people that are on the Hollywood stars are the same people in the Egyptian theater. And those are the same people the city was named after. You know, the city of fallen angels <laughs> and every star or actor that has died has just been put into another person. So it is giving again, get out. That's literally what it's giving. This is crazy. To continue on what they'd already started in a fresh body. So the same people have been influencing you for decades. And everyone in the industry is a sellout. What do you think? What do I think? Operation Sun Sunshine. That's back when they didn't know what the human flesh would react to to atomic. So they had to take babies and other bodies. And they didn't tell the public either. But a lot of them of were babies. Not. And they put them all lined up close to the edge of where they were going to drop an atomic. And then they would go back after the has exploded to see how bad it melted the flesh. And it's called Project Sunshine. People should check it out. It's pretty crazy. They finally told people what happened, but yeah, a lot of the people that buried their babies and loved ones wait, wait. happened. But so, or I don't know if it says so or 50. I think 50 human samples are of prime importance. And if anybody knows how to do a good job of body snatching, they will really be serving their country. I don't think it was 50. I think it was so. But still, the quote. Libby thought he ate when he said that because that was not it. I feel like every time we watch these videos, they get deeper and deeper. But what I'm going to tell you, I'm not messing with Antarctica. I'm just, I'm not. I'm not. And then a summary would just be to watch Get Out for those that have it or watch it again with, with, with new eyes. With a new mindset. You know what I'm saying? Because with the videos that we watched today, you can correlate them and relate like kind of relate them back to what we watch today and it's going to click and make sense and probably expound like basically in other words what i'm trying to say is is that you'll probably look at the movie differently because of the stuff that we were taught today i'll say that but conspiracy theory tiktoks that will make you question reality got me questioning should have y'all questioning too especially about antarctica i don't know anybody that's that's chilling when it comes to antarctica but I do love and appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Please go ahead and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me which one is next in the comment section down below. All my social media is in the description. Y'all see it right there as well. On the road to 700K, shout out to each and every single one of you guys. I really, truly, truly, truly love each and every single one of y'all from the bottom of my heart. I keep seeing each and every single one of you, but I just want, because I want you to know in particular, you the one that's watching this video. You the one that's about to hit the like button. You the one that's about to subscribe. And you the one that's about to flip into the next video. I want you to know that I love and appreciate you. And then all honors, all esteem, all glory to my Lua, Yahuwah, and my Adonai. Hello. Yahusha and Mashiach for blessing me with everything at the end of the day. This day channel, I'm just a vessel that they're working in and through. So I got to give credit and honor where it's due. But Y'all know me. Y'all have a blessed one. I'll see y'all in the next one. You can't bring me down. I know who I belong to. Yeah. Why? I won't sell my soul. I